This is a study that was a randomized study looking at patients who underwent mastectomy with implant-based reconstruction who required radiation therapy as part of their treatment, and they were randomized to either receiving a shorter course of radiation over three weeks versus a standard course of radiation over five weeks. This was a study of 400 patients. So the study was designed to look at a number of outcomes, in particular patient reported outcomes and quality of life. So we were interested in whether patients who received the shorter course radiation might have an improved quality of life compared to patients who received the more standard course of radiation. And the primary endpoint was looking at a change in physical well-being at the six month time point. Um, but what we saw is that patients overall had similar outcomes uh, between the shorter versus the longer radiation. So we did not see a dramatic uh, difference, um, but at least they were similar. And if you looked at the patients who were in the younger category, there were some uh, suggestion that there was a little bit of an improvement in physical well-being at the six-month time point amongst the younger patients. But overall, I have to say that the overall outcomes were similar between the short course and the longer course uh, radiation, which is um, actually a, um, a helpful finding uh, for patients who are otherwise committed to receiving five weeks of radiation. Our patients undergo a lot of treatment, so they typically have undergone surgery, sometimes multiple surgeries, um, often chemotherapy, and they receive these treatments before they reach us for radiation. So they're tired. So they've been through a lot of a lot of treatments, a lot of side effects, and to be presented with a five week course of radiation at the end of all this can be just really tough. Um, so I think if you can shorten the treatments in a way that is safe. So I, I um, should have also mentioned that in addition to having similar or maybe slightly improved outcomes in some subsets, there was no difference in um, toxicity across the um, two groups of patients and also no difference in uh, cancer outcomes. So patients had similar uh, rates of, of recurrence between the two groups, which is important that we didn't compromise the efficacy of the treatment. Um, by having a uh, shorter um, schedule. So I think if patients can have similar outcomes and they can shave two weeks off of their treatment course, it's, it's a chance for them to uh, regain uh, some of their, their lives and uh, get back to their normal lives sooner, their work, uh, their family, and um, just not be burdened by extra time spent uh, going through treatment with, if it's not necessary. Well, I think that you know, these are the first results looking at a randomized um, assessment of this treatment in this uh, patient group. So we are, of course, interested in the, what the longer term results will look like. We're interested in you know, others that may be looking at a similar question and will have um, results hopefully soon. But this is, I think, the first uh, randomized look at implant-based reconstruction um, after mastectomy where uh, we randomized two different radiation schedules. So we're excited that this is hopefully the beginning of more data in this space and that we can help make our patients' lives better by uh, shortening treatment. And I think it's also important to note that patients who had to take unpaid leave had fewer missed days of work in the shorter course arm of the study uh, compared to the patients who had standard treatment. And also there were fewer treatment breaks in the shorter course patients, which is important because we know that sometimes treatment rates can lead to uh, worse uh, cancer outcomes in patients. So those are two um, other findings that we've um, uh, reported in the, uh, the presentation as well. Mm -hmm.